It's Sunday the 29th of November 2009 and with the day off, four of us are going to walk and cross country ski from Scott Base to Castle Rock, a distance of 6.8 kilometres. We're then going to climb up Castle Rock, elevation 415 metres, and after descending we're going to walk and cross country ski back to McMurdo Station on the Castle Rock track, a distance of 6 kilometres, then finally hitch a ride back over the hill to Scott Base. The first section is four and a half kilometres over the Ross Ice Shelf from Scott Base to just past the Scott Base ski field. Three other guys are worth filmmaker, Nico Hine and Baz Hannon. And looking straight ahead of me is Castle Rock. And it's just a spectacular day, not much wind. Very warm, about minus three. So very pleasant. In fact, hot. Here we are, we're halfway up Castle Rock and we're just preparing to go up to the top of Castle Rock. The guys are down there just getting ready. Serving up pretty warm. Good steady breeze up here, so it sucks the heat out of you pretty fast. After a climber fatally fell in 1995, we are now required to ascend clipped onto a fixed line over the more steeper sections. Here we are, summit, Castle Rock. What do you think guys? Not bad, not bad at all. We should have a Jägermeister to celebrate Nico. And there's another party walking up from the loop track down there, you can see the faint dots. And panning around. Scott Base. Here we are on the summit. And just enjoying the last views before we start to carefully head back down and um, cross country ski our way back to McMurdo. Absolutely magic day. Nice to have a day off with uh, good weather for a change. You can see the white satellite station. And over behind that is Port Murdo. And coming around, we're looking at the um, rest of Greater Hill. And on the front face of that is a wind farm. Here we are, this is the route looking back up towards Castle Rock and we've just uh, cross country skied down there you can see the flags, bit of a breeze going and it's uh, considerably not as easy as I thought it might have been I've had to unlearn everything I know about downhill skiing I probably must have fallen over about 15 times between the top up there and down here but a uh, sensational day you can see Phil in the distance So, better put this down and carry on.